Hello and welcome back to Realms Forgotten. We're gonna go ahead and just enter a tournament straight away here because there's actually something I wanted to do in this town very specifically and that is to replace my silver light blast because I, I think someone, I think maybe the mod creator actually has been saying to me that the silver light blast should have a particle effect and yeah I have actually been using silver light blast, I actually replied to them multiple times now, but I just wanted to kind of reiterate that I have actually been using Silver Light Blast, but it's just not giving me the uh, the particle effect. So I assume it's probably going to be fixed, as I say, in the next version. That's what I um, that's what I said at the time, at least. And we're going to just be checking out some of the other items that are available at the Enhanced Cellar as well, because maybe it's going to be a cool idea for me to try out some of the armor that is available from the guy as well, because as far as I'm aware, there is a set of armor for around 170,000 that we can purchase that provides us with morale. And this is actually quite interesting because obviously any single time you know, in the past when I've uh, played Warband mods, for example, and whenever I've picked up armor that actually provides you with stats, it's very, very rare that that actually happens. Bear that in mind, but when it does happen in a mod, I just think, oh, this is fantastic. I love that kind of thing. I love when you can pick up an item and you think to yourself, oh, this is this just looks like a regular, you know, regular item. So it gives me slightly more, you know, armor or something like that. And then all of a sudden, it gives you, I don't know, more uh, more athletic skill or it gives you more power strike in, in the case of Warband, of course. And I just think, yes, this is great. That's absolutely fantastic. Really, really looking forward to that. And obviously, um, when that happens, you just get overjoyed. You know, at least I get overjoyed when when something like that transpires. Because you just think, yes, this is great. This is so fun. To see your character improve dramatically just from this amazingly cool magical item. And obviously, it doesn't happen every time. But, you know, it's one of those things. So we're definitely going to be checking out the Enhanced Cellar after this. This fellow is, of course, Mr. Horse Thief. And he is very, very hard to kill, as you can quite clearly see. I actually wonder whether I should go for a um, a couch lance or something like that. Or maybe, you know what, Sh should I just, <laughs> I don't even know whether I should let, let him win. He seems to be absolutely impossible to kill. Okay, let me just, oh no, I really wanted to do that. Okay, never mind. Ow. Okay, yeah, let's run. Let me just run very quickly and let me see now. Okay, come on now. Can this guy actually do anything? Have you noticed how absolutely useless he is? Ah, uh, Yeah, that is my surgeon, actually. He's really bad at using a bow, by the looks of things. It's very, very unfortunate. Can he actually shoot Mr. Horse Thief? And can this guy actually do something as well? I would very much appreciate it. You know what? Oh, there we go. We finally beat him. Can you imagine how, how amazing that guy is? Okay, he's actually still... Oh, dear. He's still in the tournament. Oh no, okay, this is bad. Oh dear, this is bad. Now you may think, oh yes, tournaments, they're super easy, right? Not when Mr. Horse Thief is in them. And apparently not when Mr. Surgeon is in them either, because apparently that guy was taking absolute battering. Not entirely sure why he was taking such a long time to die, but there you go. Anyway, Mr. Horse Thief has made his way through to the final round. I just have to get through to the final round here against this sisterhood follower. Oh, 99 damage. Thank you very much. And now we are going to be facing him one-on-one. -on -one. This is going to be extremely difficult. I highly doubt I'm even going to be able to achieve victory here. He seems like an insane... Yeah, n never mind. There you go. At least, um, it's, it's actually not even bad because we do actually get the, um, the item. <laughs> we still get the item. Not really that big a deal, is it? No, I don't think that that's too bad. But yeah, you should definitely, if you can, <laughs> go into some tournaments against Mr. Horse Thief. I don't even know, you know, if there's anyone like that usually. But yeah, that's pretty crazy. Anyway, we're going to go into the tavern here. Oh, we got a shield maiden available. Ooh, we might want to get her, actually. We might want to get her. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Let's do that right away. Let's do that right away. And we're just going to go into the tavern real fast because, as I said, we do want to try and um, replace our silver light blast. I'm actually not entirely sure where he's going to be. There's no back room. Okay, that's interesting. 
Uh, is he over there? I don't think so. He's probably going to be upstairs. There he is. He's not always upstairs, of course. Okay, there we go. What do you have to offer? There we are. All right. So what we want to do? Oh, there's actually some very cool one-handed swords here. If you're if you're caring too much about one-handed, then obviously you can go and you can go and buy those. Anyway, so here's the armor that I was talking about. As you can see, it does provide you with troop morale. I'm not entirely sure what this one does. Uh, it doesn't say. So obviously, I have no idea. But uh, I'm gonna buy this because I think this sounds pretty fun, right? So let's buy that and we'll we'll wear it straight away. Um, let me just very quickly um, There it is. Let's just wear it. Ooh, okay. That looks very bright It's gonna make sure that we get absolutely murdered straight away. What do you bet? All right, let's just uh, trade a bunch of this. Oh, wow. I think I traded way too many of these There we go. Okay, uh, you will pay 95,000. No, I prefer not. Let's just do that. There we go. That's much better. All right. So yes. Anyway, what we want to do is we want to purchase some new silver light blasts. As you can see, I'm already using silver light blasts. I actually tried using the white particle. Well, actually, I haven't tried using the white particle just yet. But um, gonna buy another silver light blast so that you can see exactly what's happening here. And um, where is it? it where, where did I? Where, where did it go? Oh yeah, I have two now. Yeah, so there you go. So I can now just put, there you go, put it on. We've got Silver Light Blast, obviously. There you go. And um, yeah, otherwise I can also purchase the Fireball as well if we want to. We might as well. Let's purchase that too. Let's try out both. Should we try out both? I think that seems like a pretty fun idea. There's also the Elminster Staff, which I could potentially use, which deals massive damage, as you can quite clearly see. It does, however, have an ammo limit of 25. Oh, actually, wait a minute. The silver light wand is. Oh, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. This. Oh, this is. This is going super, super hard right here. Okay, let's do it. Why not? This seems like a fun idea. We're just gonna trade the uh, the things that I created beforehand, and there we have it. Okay, fantastic. So let's move on. All right. So something rather irritating has just transpired. I have been waiting for quite some time off screen. I don't even know how long it's been. I've just been standing at a town, hoping that uh, maybe. Uh, our character and our spouse can get a little bit busy, if you know what I mean. And uh, I was kind of hoping that that would happen in the meantime, because obviously, you know, if I have some time to wait, then I might as well get something out of it, right? Anyway, point is, they've now declared war against the exact same faction that we had war against beforehand. And so I am making my way over there once more. Hopefully we're going to get, well something from this. I'm not sure what we're going to get out of it, but hopefully it's going to be something relatively useful. So let me just try. I'm going to try something here. Don't think this is going to be particularly useful. As you can see, I'm just drawing someone in right now. That's basically all I wanted to do. Just draw someone in, try to attack them. Stop. Oh, oh, it's actually working. It's actually working. Nice. Okay. So unfortunately, he attacked me at night. I always find that very irritating when they do that. But oh, well, never mind. Anyway, as you can see, I have one fireball. And I have silver light blast. And I'm also going to be equipping my new staff as well. That's going to be super fun. Or at least I hope it's going to be fun. And uh, yeah, let's just equip everyone with things. The shield maiden, of course, does need to get some new stuff. And otherwise, uh, I should probably save just in case because I've never used the staff before. So I don't know whether it's going to cause any problems. So let's just do this. All right. So, um, yeah. So, of course, what we want to do is we want to test out our uh, our crossbow. Uh, well, you know, technically, you know, our crossbow. And as you can see, your armor instilled confidence in your army, boosting them around by 70 points. That's absolutely fantastic. So let's have a look here. Okay, so there you go. That's the... That's the staff. As you can see, there are no, um, there, there's no particle effect associated with it, uh, as you can see. So there's that. I'm dealing massive damage though, uh, as a result of this staff. I think. I'm not entirely sure. It is very bright. I gotta say, very very bright on the end of it. Um, but yeah, you can see here that we're just absolutely massacring every single thing in our in our path. Because there's no reload time. That's the thing. There is no reload time. It's like a machine gun, basically, at this point. So, that's pretty crazy. Oh, no! My horse turned into a, a lame royal destrier. And now this is... Oh, dear. 
This is what the staff looks like when it's on your back. Okay, I think I think we need <laughs> I think we need the the little uh, the little light on it to be toned down a bit. Me personally, um, but yeah, you can quite clearly tell uh, the particle effects are not working with these particular with these particular items, of course. But um, yeah, there you go. We can actually take this guy prisoner, I guess we will. I mean, why not, you know? And we do have a bunch of uh, space now for additional people in our prisoner's hold. Kind of makes a bit of sense, doesn't it? And so what we're actually going to do, going to switch back to the silver light wand because I personally don't want to be blinded every single time I use it. And otherwise, what we're going to do is I'm going to swap out wand fireball and we're going to put Flame Breath. I, th I think Flame Breath doesn't actually work. Let's try the White Particle. I think that works. But I think it hits myself. And it explodes on myself. If it does, then, well, that's just something that needs to be fixed uh, in the next version. So let's actually just see whether I can actually get into a battle with these guys. I'm hoping that I'm going to be at least able to corner him or something like that. Apparently he... Oh, there. Oh dear. Uh, okay, what would it take? Okay, how much? 169. Really? Only 169? Sure, I'll take it. Why not? That sounds like a great idea. As you can see, he has an insanely large army. Um, very, very funny how that happened again, isn't it? You know, that always seems to happen to me where they draw me into a massive army of theirs, which is just, it's just hilarious actually to assume that that's going to happen every single time because obviously there are no, no people in the area to actually help me. You see, that's the main problem. And uh, that's the thing. What I actually was waiting for was 150 influence. I was waiting for 150 influence so that I could propose a war declaration against one of the other factions. For example, I wouldn't mind attacking Nasoria, but obviously there's nothing going on there. We could potentially attack the West Kingdom of Man. As you can see, there's 37% support for that. And in my opinion, that would be really nice because we might actually be able to catch up to some of these guys because it's actually impossible for me to catch up to the ones from um, this particular faction. So I'm not entirely sure how we're supposed to really deal with that. But yeah, I, I guess maybe I should just purchase some more horses or something. I, I don't actually know. Oh, yeah. Speaking of horses. Going to need to um, replace my my lame destrier there with the Kosian. And that seems pretty good. There we are. And yeah. So basically what I'm going to do is we're just going to keep an eye on the diplomacy here because you can see now it's at 0%. So we still so we have 0% support once once more. And that's the thing. I could use my influence to form a uh, relatively moderate sized army. But that's the thing. Then we have well, two issues. We're moving too slowly to be able to get into a battle with any of the smaller vassals you know the ones that are even getting away from me right now and i have 164 only so if we had an army it would be even worse we'd be even slower or we would have an army that's about 500 strong maybe 600 and we wouldn't be able to take on the large army of the opponent either because they're running around with 1300 so it is a very very bad spot to be in i was very much hoping that we wouldn't have to fight those same faction again but they declared war and there's not much I can do about that, unfortunately. No. All right, so I've actually caused war against the Southern Empire of Man, mostly because nothing else is happening otherwise. Yeah, nothing else is happening. We are at war against those other guys, the, uh, well, basically the Kuzates over, uh, you know, to the west or whatever. But that's the thing. Why would I want to do that? No, there's just no no reason for that. Anyway, so we're going to go for hammer bolts here because this is very cool. 50% chance of dismounting enemy cavalry with a heavy hit from your crossbow. That sounds cool. Anyway, uh, minus 50% wages of tier 4 plus troops or a uh, 20% chance of increasing the siege bombardment casualties per hit by one. Uh, hmm. I actually don't really care about either of these. I'll go for picked shots, I suppose. And we are going to go for the Endurance Attribute here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we are going to go for that. Plus one Endurance. That's very, very nice. So, uh, yeah. 
Let's go in, try out my new weapon. Bear in mind that because I have attacked some villagers now, my influence is in the negative. And there's not much I could do about that, unfortunately, because, as I say, we needed to get something going, and that was the only thing that I could really make happen. Because I didn't have enough um, support from anyone in, um, in my faction to actually declare war. And so that has now, you know, made things much more difficult. And I'm hopeful that we'll be able to get back the amount of influence that we used doing this by actually fighting and defeating enemies close to our doorstep. Because that's exactly what is happening here. All right, so let's put our horsemen over there. Let's get them over there, and there we go. All right, so let's actually try out my... Um, let's try out this, because this is obviously the um, the thing. What, what is it now? Yeah, as you could... Yes, yes, that is indeed the issue. There is mm -hmm, that. Okay, so I've tried this out before in the past, and it explodes as I am unleashing it. So that's obviously not going to work. So, unfortunate. Um, what, what is this? Why... why why is it a thrown weapon now, all of a sudden? Okay, well, whatever the case, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We can actually just do some damage here. Oh, yeah, that was nice. That was nice. Okay. Can we get a little bit more of that, please? Yes. Ooh. Apparently, Arcane is uh, Arcane is listening to me today. Oh, who would have expected that? Not me. All right, let's actually just do a little bit of something here. Wow, these guys have no idea. Um, but yeah, what we're gonna do, obviously, is I'm gonna I'm gonna just swap between the massive two-handed axe and the uh, slightly more more regular one. Because for me personally, I think the two-handed axe, the, the massive one that is, is really really funny. I think it is really funny. Obviously, if you're not you know interested in in quote unquote funny, then obviously that's absolutely fine but you know it is a giant axe you know it is it i'm i'm what i'm saying is it is meant for a giant that's the thing because obviously there is a a race in the game called giants and you know you can actually play as a giant if you want to as well so that's that's obviously available but um yeah otherwise let's just see if i can do something here why is my cavalry all the way back there why did they not move over here okay that's a bit weird Unfortunately, I won't be able to use my um, my spells at the moment because um, that thing just basically causes like a, a flashbang effect. And I think that's a little bit too annoying at the moment. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Because what's what's meant to happen, obviously, is the, uh, the uh, particle effect is supposed to happen on contact with the opponent. But it's actually happening on release of the button. Um, when you attack, you know what I mean? So that's obviously the main thing that's that's giving us a problem right now. But anyway, we're just going to tell our infantry to charge in here. Bear in mind that Arcane Horse Thief is among them. And I'm actually wondering how well he's going to do. Is he actually going to be able to do anything here? We've got a bunch of these guys. Who are these guys? Are these the Undead Vortiac Kings? No, these are the Troll Chiefs. Ah, yes, I remember. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So... <laughs> Amusingly enough, what happened was, in my off-screen time, I saw a group of trolls, and I actually wanted to fight them to test my crossbow out, because obviously my crossbow, um, you know, I wanted to see whether I could uh, try to fix the particle problem, the particle effect issue. Um, but obviously that didn't, that didn't actually end up happening at all, and as a result, you know, um, they basically just gave up. They just said, no, we would prefer to become, you know, a part of your, uh, your war band or whatever. And then I said, okay, sure, why not? And so that's why we have a bunch of trolls in our army. So yeah, there's that. Anyway, there is a massive army coming at us right now. So what I'm actually going to do is we're just going to very quickly go over here. And where's my silver light blast? There it is. Okay, so we're just going to be equipping. There's two silver light blasts, as you can see. Look, there we go. Silver light blast. And we also have the silver light wand. I would much prefer to use the Elminster staff, but as I said, it's too bright um, on the little, uh, the little glowy bit. So we're just going to leave it the way it is. And I think I might... Not sure whether we should go back to the other... I think I should go back to the other axe. Let's go back to the other axe for now. As you can see, the name is so long that we just can't even read it which is hilarious. All right, so here we go. Now I'm going to have to be very cautious here because these guys want to fight me with the army in question. Ooh, they got me. All right, they got me. This is not going to this is not going to go so well. 
Maybe. Um, it depends. It depends. We might be able to make this work if I can utilize my crossbow and my, my spells adequately enough. We might actually be able to get something going here. So let's see. Okay, so here we go. Uh, it, that, you, no, no, Arcane, please, please, do, don't start like this. Please, do not. <laughs> that was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. Okay, here we go. Okay, n apparently not. Apparently he doesn't want to go. Apparently he just wants to, uh, he just wants to miss. Which is not very useful for me. Thank you very much. Okay, ah, uh, this is also bad. Okay, here we go. Oh, are you... Ah. Uh, I don't even know what to say right now. He's he's really not he's not being very cooperative. Let's just say that. Okay, let's just do. Oh no, are you serious? Uh, yeah, this is this is bad. This is real bad. Okay, well, what I wanted to do actually was try to reduce the amount of casualties we suffer, and then retreat and then go back in. You see, with a uh, full complement of crossbow or shall we say spells once again. That is actually what I wanted to do. Um, so that was the reason why I was charging out there, because I thought, yes, this is going to be a lot easier than, uh, you know, having anything else happen. My horse is now dead, unfortunately, so that's not that good, but we can maybe do something here. There we go. Okay, my, my, my forces are actually doing quite well. They've killed 61 so far, and I've only killed 11 of those, which is quite interesting. I'm quite surprised that that's actually even happened but there you go i'm gonna get on one of these thank you very much let's just throw this nice yes we need another one of those please another another couple of those actually please yes no oh okay well, i hit the i hit the enemy lord two of the enemy lords actually there we go there we go there's another one yes another one of these another one of these there we go okay thank you so now what i'm actually gonna do is we're gonna get out of here we're gonna get out of here yeah i'm just gonna retreat straight away just going to retreat, and then we can go straight back in. And I'm going to have my crossbow bolts back, and we've we've taken very few casualties. My crossbows, uh, crossbowmen themselves have actually been pretty good, and they have apparently not taken too much damage either. So this is really, really nice. And we can also get some more leadership. Might as well do that. And let's go back on in. We've got 90% HP still remaining. Bear that in mind. This is really good. Obviously, maybe this is not going to be working out too well for us, but we can only hope. And hopefully, I, I think Mr. Horse Thief is in here, isn't he? Yeah, I hope he is. Anyway, the trolls look super cool, by the way. I absolutely love the modeling on them. Look at them. They are massive. And the undead kings as well. They, they look super cool, too. Anyway, <laughs> apart from that, uh, let me see if I can actually win this, win this battle. This is going to be... I think pretty pretty tough. I think pretty tough. If I can just get a little bit more damage out though, then I should be fine. As you can see, this is this is good. This is what we need. Yes. Yes. More of this. Yeah, that's what that that's the kind of thing we're talking about. That's the kind of thing. Even if I don't get a huge amount of kills, I don't really care. All I want to do is kill enemies, even if it's just one. That's all I really need. And now let me just bring out my massive two-handed. Do some damage with that. There we go. I actually wonder how a giant is to control in this game. I, I don't actually know. But um, yeah, I do need to actually get my uh, archers into a relatively decent position. Let's put them into a loose formation as well. Let's put this guy over here. Put the archers um, just, just behind the infantry a little bit. There we go. We gained a level. Nice. Even though it's not really going to do too much for us. I don't think some damage hit the tree because we love hitting trees don't we yes we love hitting trees i've only got nine left and there we have it okay so that is exactly what we're going to do and i believe we're actually just going to go again just gonna go again we've killed 127 of them or we've eliminated 127 of them i personally eliminated 68 which is oh we can actually leave hilariously enough yeah we do have the opportunity to leave now but i'm not going to do that and we, we actually leveled up so i'm going to get another point in leadership as well makes sense right makes sense and this is going to be an extremely good way for us to get some influence so what we're going to do now is i'm just going to commit 
this is the battle that I will commit. And we will literally just go full on against the opponent. Obviously, I'm not going to do something... Well, hopefully, I'm not going to do something stupid. I was about to say, you know. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I'm just going to place my archers round about here, I think. And the uh, infantry just in the front. And then we're just going to do a little bit of damage ourselves with our crossbow here. Well, what should we say? With our spells. And yes, eliminate the enemy's lords. Kill this guy as well. There we go. That's going to deal massive damage to their morale. They're even running away. Look at this. They're actually running away from us. I can't believe it right now. Are you serious? Oh, this is hilarious. I'm not entirely sure why they do this, but okay. There we go. Yes. Yes. More of this. There. And our archers are now coming in as well. Our archers are absolutely murdering them. And I think we're actually pretty good. I don't... I'm, I'm not entirely sure how many enemies they even have left. So that's the question here. Okay, that's it. That's it for my spells. Now we're going to have to rely on my two-handed weapon prowess. Can you imagine having to rely on that? Oh, no. Oh, they stopped me with their pole arms. That's annoying. Oh, dear. Well, whatever the case, let's tell my cavalry to charge in. Tell my infantry to charge in. I think we're actually fine. And if I can just do a little bit of damage here. There we go. A little bit of damage. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, that guy just literally ended up dying. And let's tell our archers to auto-delegate so that they can get into effective range if they need to. This horse is actually super fast. Pretty nice. I like it. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's actually it. There you go. So strategy seemed to work out not too badly. And uh, that is indeed a victory for us. Pretty nice. Now, hopefully, look at that. 86 influence. Perfect. Absolutely wonderful. I don't know whether you noticed, but we had about minus 81 or something like that. I'm actually not entirely sure how many we had, but Stop. we're just going to be taking every single one of these guys prisoner because that's what we do. We're just going to take them all prisoner. Look at how many they have. We just took so many of them prisoner. That's crazy. Okay, that's great. That's super, super nice. And what we can also do now, look at them. They have 17 legendary swordsmen. So I will be taking all of those, or as many of them as I can. I need to make sure that, mm -hmm, yeah, we'll, we'll just level a couple of these guys up as well. Because I do, do have some people that have been leveling up in my care at the moment. And we do need to get rid of, uh, we, we need to get rid of some of the lower, lower tier ones, right? That's what we need to do. Anyway, we've got Arcane the Shield Maiden, <laughs> very funnily enough. And we have Arcane Horse Thief, who has a massive two-handed axe as well. Um, so yes, anyway, let's just take those guys. We'll take a... Uh, are there any other legendaries around here? No, it doesn't seem like it. All right, that's absolutely fine. So we'll just take one of these. And we have a bunch of prisoners as well. So let's actually see what they have. Some legendaries. Yeah, let's just take some of these as well. There we go. And I think that seems pretty fine. There we are. That seems good. So we can just take all the loot as well. And then we can move on. And I'm going to switch over to my other axe now as well, because we've used the big axe now, so it's nice to use the other one. There we go. All right, so let's have a look-see here. Sorandon, Sorandon, do you want to fight me? Do you want to fight me, Susan? This is not how you spell her name, but it sounds like it. So that's why I'm making that reference. If you don't know who that is, then I feel sorry for you, but you can always look it up, because there is such a thing as Bing. Are you going to Bing it? <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Anyway, yes. Are you going to Bing it or are you going to Google it? I don't know. Which one's more popular? I, I have no idea. I have been living in a cellar for the last 27 years. Anyway, let's just have a quick look here. This guy... Come on, come on, come on. Yes, we can actually get him. This guy is literally the slowest person I've ever seen. Apart from myself in the head. So, let's see. I would love to be able to... Um, um, uh, I'd actually like to see, um, Mr. Horse Thief do damage. Shall, shall, shall we just see where he is and see whether he's actually going to go into battle? I'm going to tell him to, I'm just going to tell my infantry to charge. Because I have no idea where he is. I don't think he has a horse. No, there he is. I see him. You see him? There he is. With the big axe. 
Look, there it is. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's 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 watch him. Let's watch him, shall we? Let's see how many kills he gets. Because I'm actually thinking to myself, is he some kind of supernatural being? Because we know his stats. That's the funny thing. We recruited him and we know his stats. He has like 150 or something in two-handed the last time I saw him. So I'm not sure whether he's become better now because I've been basically leaving him in tournaments the whole time. So let's see. He's got one kill, two kills. Uh, well, the shield maiden's actually getting a kill as well, hilariously enough. What? Really? He's only gotten three kills so far? I guess maybe uh, four kills. I guess, you know what? Maybe it's difficult for him to get kills because he has such a large weapon. Yeah, I guess that's it, right? I guess that must be the problem. All right, well, that's good to know. Yeah, that is that is very good to know. Anyway, I actually didn't even take a look and see my influence um, and, and its, uh, its current status because I need to have a look at that in just a second and make sure that we're... Yeah, we're at 16 now. Okay, okay. So we were still in the, in the negative before we fought this guy. Um, but yeah, this is actually the town that I wanted to besiege. So I'm actually very much hoping that we'll be able to do this. Um, and first of all, I have... <laughs> do I have enough to be able to get anyone? No, I don't. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I thought I could do it and just, you know, send them an IOU or something like that. But no, apparently that is not going to work. Unfortunate. That is very, very unfortunate. Okay, well, maybe they're going to come and help me. Uh, it's highly unlikely that they're going to come and help me, but... Oh, yeah, there's Susan again. Oh, uh, dear. Please, please leave me alone. Okay, well, we'll see what happens. Maybe... Oh, dear. I have a feeling that they're going to attack me with a massive force. So I should probably go and do some damage to them beforehand. Do you think they can get away from me right now? Uh, if you no, we, we, actually, we actually can catch up to them. Um, not too badly. So let's just continue to take them prisoner here. And then we will try to attack Sarandon as well. Oh, hello. Oh, they got me again with another massive army. Oh, you scoundrels. Those absolute scoundrels. Oh, well, never mind, never mind. It's actually not that bad. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take leader of the masses because if we do get a, a couple of towns, it might make sense for us to do that. And also build speed to ranged siege engines is, of course, every single time what I'm going to be taking. And I'm going to be heading in once again. I have very little cash. Have you noticed that? I do actually need to create some swords or something like that just to tide us over until we're able to actually get some income because, um, hilariously enough, I think all of my caravans have been eliminated. I think most of them have been eliminated for some reason, obviously because we're at war against people and they walk into their territory and then just get murdered. But yeah, I think that's um, definitely making things a bit uncomfortable for us. So I would like to do something about that. Yes, could you not shoot me, please? I would very much appreciate that. Did you see how much charge damage I did just there? Okay, my horse is probably going to go down relatively soon, so I have to be kind of... Oh, I got headshot! No! That is so bad! Oh, dear. Oh, that's really bad. I don't have post-mortem possession, by the way. I do not have post-mortem possession installed because I didn't want to have any kind of crash problems or anything like that. Now we are going to have some issues. Because now I can't retreat. Or can I? Hmm. I don't know. We're just going to have to... I, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait and see. We seem to absolutely be dominating them, though. How does that happen? They they have so many more troops than we do. How did how did that happen? They must have been running at us with literally recruits. They literally must have been running at us with recruits only, I believe. Surely that must be the case. I have no idea. I can't see that many recruits, but I, I don't actually know. I don't want to go through every single vassal, but yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, oh, no, never mind. That's me. I, I have 140. Oh, these guys are way too late to help me out. Okay, so we're just going to auto-resolve against the remaining forces and we can actually Enough. take them prisoner. What is really funny about this, though, is I am almost 100% certain that what is going to happen is my, my people are going to make peace. 
What do you bet? Do you do you do you do you think so? I think they are going to make peace almost instantly. Because look at how many vassals I actually have available here. I have uh, I have Mr. Egg. Mr. Egg is also one of my prisoners, as you can see. He, he looks he, well, he looks he, he looks kind of weird because I think he doesn't I think he doesn't have ears on one side or what? One one side has no ear, I think. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with him, but he he's naked and I I, I respect that. If he wants to go into battle without any armor on, then that is his decision to make. And if he wants to, you know, put put his precious treasure, <clears throat> you know, at risk, then he can obviously decide to do that if he wants to. Anyway, it seems like we might actually see some action here, and these guys are actually going to go into the siege. I can't wait to see whether they actually give it to me, because I would love that. Let's cross our fingers and hope, shall we? Well, we're going to have to see in the next episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.